So here is our second type of heather. Uh, this is called bell heather. Uh, it's quite self-explanatory because the flowers have got this sort of inflated bell shape to them. This is very, very much an indicator of, of dry heath and you won't find it on the damper soils at all. And in fact, it often occurs around the edge of car parks and in really sort of parched places. Each flower has got this sort of bell shape to it. It's very inflated. Um, and even when they've gone over towards the end of the year and, and have gone brown, they still retain this sort of swollen shape to it, which makes it very different from the normal heather. The leaves of bell heather are again very distinctive. They're, they're very different from the other heathers. They're almost like a sort of conifer tree. They're quite spaced out and very needle-like individually. Now, if you compare that with the leaves of the normal heather we were looking at before, you can see it's very, very different. Normal heather almost gives the impression it's in bud and it's about to become something much larger, but in fact that's all it ever does and it will, it will senesce and, and, and die in exactly that structure. So side by side you can hopefully see that bell heather with the much more pointy leaves and normal heather with the bunched up leaves are, are extremely different.